Lee and Wilda and, and, Wilda and then all, all the kids, uh, Jean, uh, Simone, Andre, hey. Bernie and Corny. Corny. Uh, to all of you, y'all did a beautiful job of taking care of my parent. Mm -hmm. oh, very good. What else are we gonna talk about this morning? Well, how about if we how about we wish a, a happy anniversary to Betty and Joe Dowden from Port Barry, married only 60 years this Friday, June 29th. That's uh, my mother Janice and, and uh, her husband Malcolm Mesh. That's their good close friends, Betty and Joe. Good morning, happy anniversary. Uh, well, we even had uh, 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 one of them sent me a. Uh, uh, email. Uh, it was a person that I hired many, many years ago, Carolyn Alcindor, mm -hmm. and had also hired her daughter, her sister, Claudia. Right. Well, Mrs. Alcindor uh, and her son Julius came to the wake, and of course Julius came back and attended the funeral, the funeral well. services Correct. Monday. And uh, they were there to thank uh, John, uh, and I was on the board at the time. Uh, uh, that that Julius's daddy Polo uh, became uh, one of the employees at the school board. He had, we had all met him. Uh, he worked over at the Hut restaurant, uh, Mr. Tony Graffanino no owned, kid. which is right in the back of uh, where Borlaw Motors, Motors is today. Good the, morning. The uh, used, welcome back, yes, hello. The used uh, auto ports between uh -huh. uh, the the, Anna, the I, antebellum home. I ate and, my first oyster there. What you well, talking well, about? Well, that's well he. <laughs> He probably uh, was the, the shucker back in those days. Right. So anyhow, it brings a lot of people back together. Uh, this this uh, Thursday, oh, excuse me, this Friday, there's going to be a fun day over at the Opelousas Boys and Girls Club here in Opelousas. That's over on, uh, was that Laurent Street that it's on back, back there? I think so. Yeah, Laurent Street, 814 Laurent Street. Boys and Girls Club, the Elks Lodge here in town, 1048, has contributed $2,000 to do a big fun day for the boys and the girls. Uh, the police chief's going to be there. Uh, chief Perry Gallo is going to be talking about his, his home run derbies coming up. Uh, they're going to even do a concert at Mojo's uh, that evening in Evangeline Downs at 8 p.m. to help fund as well. But if you go to the fund day from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., go by and you, you can enjoy stuff with the Sheriff's Department, maybe help the kids, bring a donation to help our Boys and Girls Club keep on going. And we have a picture. We yeah, let's show this one. We, we not, need to show one thinking. picture of show this. John. We couldn't get the picture of the young, when he was young, when he became superintendent. Yeah. That We had a crew cut back in those days. And uh, the, the more recent picture uh, just wouldn't come out uh, from uh, the different... Right. Area, various venues that, that showed the picture. But, Sorry about that. But, but I had this one from the retreat house. Uh, about, uh, about three years ago. You on the one left, the, Cody on the right, and John in John, the middle. John in the middle. And of course, John and I recruited John and Cody to come uh, to the retreat house. And uh, neither missed, John missed when his health failed him a couple, two years ago. But uh, he was in spirit, he was still with us. And of course, Cody is still a, a very active member. Uh, of our retreat movement, mm -hmm. uh, as well as you are, and I recruited you. You recruited me, and I'm, yes, I'm still and, there. Yeah, and still there. You heading up the uh, the Opelousas group, by I, the way. They didn't, got, they didn't demote you while not, I was not gone. Not yet, not yet. And I got to meet the, uh, I guess, I don't know what they call them, I guess superior, the superior for the Jesuits for this entire region gave a talk for the seminarians week before last at Queen of Angels, and I got to meet him and talk to him and tell him who I am and you and I working together on the capital campaign, you know, because he's, he's very focused on the capital campaign at St. Charles. Charles right now. Right, right. But uh, now, he, does he, he was, live in New Orleans? At he the does. Providence? That's my understanding. He's, he's in New Orleans. Okay. Very, very, very nice guy. We also at Queen. They've also got right now. They're uh, they're having prayer every night, 6 p.m. till about 6:15 over in in the church hall. Uh, prayers for liberty to to continue to pray that our country moves in the right direction. It's not a political rally or anything like that. Doesn't matter what party you're in or anything. Just pray that our, that our elected officials do a good job each night from now until Fourth of July at 6 p.m. Sunday night at 7 p.m. Go by and pray. Uh, I've got uh, a, a little note here. I've got a few things to talk about. Uh, the REAP, R-E-A-P, the Benefit Racing, it's, it's uh, Benefit the Racing Employees Assistance Program. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, a person that's very, very active is Homer Bork and his wife, Diane. Correct. They kind of started this movement and are very active till today. And of course, last night was the actual event. Monday was a golf tournament to raise money, and last night was 
was another event to raise money for him. And uh, another person that was very, very active that I know, I've got to know real well in recent years is Charlotte Stemmons Clavier. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was running all over the place helping out. And uh, while the program was, before the program got on, we sat, we had a dinner prepared for us, uh, and uh, Don Stemmons uh, got to talking about uh, his wife, and no, she got to talking, Diane got to talking about her and the work that she puts into her garden every year. And he says that he talked to her about uh, an automatic type pea shell instead of having to do that all by hand. And right. she, uh, she kind of put her shoulders up and, well, he came over to J.B. Sandals and he found a pea shell. You can either do it by hand mm -hmm. or you can be innovative and you can hook a drill to it. Well, he chose the electric drill to hook to this little device and it works no well kidding. at J.B. Sandals. See, when you, he says, I, the only place I could think of, because they, they, that big store in Karen Crow that used to have a lot of these kind of things uh, uh, went out of business, closed. And J.B. Sandals, Sandals under the guidance of Neil Sandals, is still That's there. And, and it's about $40 now, not no what? expensive thing. And he says she loved her, her new little device. When I was a kid, that's what you had kids for. The, the kids would sit around with a bucket and everybody had to shell. <laughs> <shell. laughs> I, I got to get some sponsors because we got none so far, so we got to get a bunch. Let's go with Benny Supermarket, Summertime Savings. And you know, next week, next Wednesday's 4th of July, we're talking about the prayer praying over at um, Queen of Angels but also everyone's gonna be getting together and celebrating our independence go by Benny's right now they've got all kind of great specials especially in the meats beef ribs 238 a pound and beef brisket 258 a pound in Boston but pork steaks $1.48 mm. a pound you, you know I've gotten yep. over there and grilled them for some of our friends so go by Benny's they got best of the best produce again they've got the great uh, meat department seafood great cold drinks they've got great cold drink specials just in time 4th of July big imported beer section, Miss Mary's Gift Shop, Little Benny's Nutritional Supplemental Sports Shack, where you can get all the stuff to stay in shape right now. And they've also got the, the deli that does catering as well. They serve meals there seven days a week. That's Benny's. And let's go with Carl's Thrifty Way, your medicinal needs. If you got to go get your prescription filled, go by Carl's Thrifty Way. They'll do either the name brand medications, maybe you're looking for generics. Maybe you got multiple prescriptions you want to compound together to make them easier to take. They can do all that for you. Great gift shop, monogramming and gift wrapping too. That's Carl's. Dixie Storage, Locations throughout St. Landry Parish, Dixie Storage can help you with uh, climate control, little bitty units, big units, loading dock size units, railroad spur access. They'll do inventory control for you if you're a big enough company as well. The locations in Port Barry, Opelousas, and Washington, A Plus Glass, their sister company in Lafayette and here in Opelousas, they can do personal uh, glass, you know, your home time glass or your car or your business or your commercial. They do all that as well. And that's it. Uh, that's enough. You have yeah, enough. Yeah, I got three in. Okay, right let's uh, get a few pictures, pictures. in. Uh, let's go. Real back quick to light. Omaha. We're going to show the road to Omaha. That's the sculpture that's there. Yep, and uh, that sculpture was at the previous Rosenbaut uh, Park. Right. And uh, by the way, I think uh, that's Warren Morris when he hit the home run. I don't know if it's supposed to be him, but boy, it looks a lot like. It him. looks like him. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, we uh, of course had to kind of cut our sh trip kind of short. Uh, when I got the call a Friday morning that my brother had died, Cody says, well, y'all can leave out tomorrow. Well, I got to thinking, and uh, I, it would, in case something would happen uh, sure. with the vehicle, uh, you know, I have to take a plane ride or something like that. So we, we left out. We uh, said goodbye to uh, uh, Perry LeBlanc and uh, 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 Tommy Ray and Troy. Uh, and uh, they are Brady's, the two, uh, the, son, the father and the son. And uh, I really enjoyed, I uh, went to breakfast with them and uh, said our goodbyes and uh, it's just temporary. I'm sure we're gonna hit, up, hit the roads again together. Uh, Maybe Omaha again. Well, never you know. Nev never know. We didn't get to finish. We didn't get to see the championship game, but all of us, I think, were all pulling for South Carolina. And uh, because the SEC team right. and uh, just, 
couldn't make, make it. it. They had such an effort they had to do to get to the finals. They wore they, out they the had pitches. To play. They, they don't, they're the first team in about 40 years that won two games on the same day and got yeah. to the finals. So uh, South Carolina did a beautiful job. Arizona was tough, good, good hitting. And uh, we made some good friends. We had some good time. I see you even got your T-shirt on. I got one my T-shirt. One of my T-shirts yeah. that I purchased. And uh, then we took off and, uh, on, in fact, when we uh, taped last week, you were on uh, your I way was to go on see my him. way, and, and uh, Ramp was driving the car. We were in the little pool car at the time, and uh, we go and see Jim Bervin, and uh, over at, and he had reservations for us at the Quality Inn and Suites. Uh, and people know Jim here because of his affiliation with the hotel, the Vashon Downs Hotel. And by the way, thanks to everybody, it's really going good. The last couple of months have been mm -hmm. the, the attendance there, uh, the booking up. is picked up considerably. Uh, when we got there, uh, well, the picture that you, the first picture you have actually is a little bit later. Where's the young lady that greeted us? Uh, oh. Tracy. Uh, I mean, it's going to take uh, uh, this one at the hotel. At the hotel, that's it. Show that, Mark. Okay, all right. That young lady is Tracy. Mm -hmm. uh, very, she's a sweetheart, and and everybody that we met that uh, either is affiliated with uh, Jim, and I might add his partner, Bill, uh, they uh, uh, just a big smile, and uh, they're all about hospitality. That's what they're in, the hospitality right. business. And uh, certainly, and uh, I was able to talk prior to going on the ad, speak to the general manager of the Quality Inn there, Miss Kathy, mm -hmm. and uh, I got the same uh, response talking to her on the phone. And uh, then we're gonna show some pictures uh, you of- went, You went to a museum? museum when, when Jim uh, Bourbon said, uh, Ramp, uh, would you and Bobby enjoy going to a museum? Well, I mean, I could tell he wanted to go, so I said, well, yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> kind of under my breath, I'm sure, because I'm not a museum man. But uh, he knew that once we walked into this museum, right. uh, it would be something that we could relate to. And uh, this is a museum, and all the whole museum is four stories, uh -huh. and it's a story about a man uh, Mr. Terry Redland, who, uh, as a youngster, lost a foot. We got 20 seconds, so whatever you want to do about wrapping and setting oh, up for the next half we, hour, we're going to set it up. It. We're going to set it up for the next okay, next what, half What hour. we're going to do is we're going to talk about the museum and all the people up around Omaha when we come back from commercial break on TV and on radio after three minutes, folks. We'll see you on the other side of three.